Back with me is criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor Jeff Gold, psychologist Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, and former NYPD detective Harry Houck. Um, Harry, I I'm going to start with you. This sure. case didn't even get investigated until the young girl's parents saw what was being video or posted online and they go to the police. Do you think there's any evidence that's been collected here? That's a, that's a nightmare for a detective, especially after it was an alleged rape that, uh, you know, she wasn't seen in the hospital and a rape kit wasn't conducted on her right away. Also, the fact is what I'm hearing is that other evidence wasn't collected also. The fact that none of the evidence was taken, any f evidence was taken from the two boys who were charged in this, you know, where's their underwear? Was the car taken? Uh, allegedly, uh, rape occurred in the car, okay? Was the car uh, impounded? As far as I'm hearing right now, none of that has been done. It sounds like there might have been a little bit of a screw up here. But but what about the fact that you've got eyewitnesses here, and there are uh, some of these high schoolers who have been, um, uh, who have indicated that this did happen, that right. this rape happened, uh, and they have not been given immunity, so they they have no interest. Right, in, that's in, what I'm hearing. I think that's you know the three that's witnesses devastating are pretty, for the defense. Is, is devastating for the defense. All right, Jeff, I, I want to get to before I get to my uh, the lawyer, Jeff. I mean. I mean, what does it tell you about these kids? And and I don't not even going to go near the underage drinking parties sure, and the sure. fact that there apparently was a coach who was hosting this stuff because mm -hmm, I've had mm -hmm. my own run-ins with yeah, these guys. Sure, uh, what about the morals of these kids? Where the, she's basically unconscious, or so it appears, and she doesn't remember anything as mm -hmm. far as I've read. And they're saying, you know, pee on her. Why don't you just pee on her, urinate on her? What a bunch of pigs! And they're well, saying, and one guy says, what if she were your daughter? And he says, yeah, she's dead to me. What if it happened to, here's a young woman who we know, part of our community, she's pissy drunk, let's help her. Let's help her. Let's not take advantage of her. Whether so it was what consensual does that tell you? These rape. These boys are all American football players. What is their moral code? Well, I, 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 when we look at this kind of a situation, is it that football players, once again, are being coddled? Are they being protected? Is football the game, the game in that town? And therefore, they have a different standard, different morals, and they're not really raised the way that they should. We've seen this happen over and oh, over again. I have this DA. I've seen it a million times. Jeff, is this the kind of case, because it is in family court or juvenile court, uh, where the defense has a, uh, an upper hand? Look, they do. Once they want a hearing to not bring it up to adult court, the worst that can happen to these kids is to stay in juvenile till 21. I mean, that's a huge victory no matter whatever else happens in this case, even if convicted. Jury? No jury. In no juvenile jury. court, there's no jury. No jury, although apparently it's going to be an open hearing, which is interesting. Well, yeah, that is uh, mm -hmm. very interesting. It, it, it's tearing this town apart, which is really very sad. All right, Jeff Gold, Jeff Gardier, Harry Houck, thanks so much for being with us, guys. Thank you for having us. All right, now we're going to go to our Instagram poll results. We asked you, has the Journal News put legal gun owners in danger by printing their names and mapping out their addresses? A whopping 82% gave a resounding yes. Now, that's a whopping 82% who said yes, did they put the gun owners in danger? Not whether they should have printed it, but did they put us in danger? Ronald has posted on our Justice Facebook page, what sanctimonious egomaniacs? Carmine wrote, I'm happy they're feeling the heat by having their own personal information circulated. How does it feel, you journal news dummies? Oh, you're scared? So hire armed guards, dummies. And KD tweeted, this could get ugly if they do gun grabs. But not everyone agreed. Paulette writes, they did nothing anything who can go online in five minutes can do. And Daniel N. wrote, no, Piro, find something besides your own agenda to talk about. Hey, they outed me. I didn't publish it. That's it for us tonight. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.